In this segment, we're going to talk about how to switch from a 24 to a 36 volt system. You know, to fish big time tournaments, you just have to have a, a 36 volt system for the staying power and the power. And uh, I'm really excited about this because I've got a brand new Minn Kota 4 Trex. Uh, you know, Minn Kotas are known for their dependability. And this 4 Trex has 112 pounds of thrust, which is unbelievable. 112 pounds. Now, you might wonder why I need 112 pounds on an 18 foot boat, but uh, I don't think you can have too much power. Minn Kota also has uh, some other great features on this particular motor. One is they have a, a composite shaft. Uh, if you've ever bent a steel shaft, you know what a problem it is because it, it makes your motor torque and you can't con keep it going straight very well. Now this one will not bend, so you'll never have that problem. I've also got the transducer mounted right here at the bottom uh, of the motor. So there, I don't have any cables coming up here. I don't have to clamp on the transducer. It's always going to be straight down and I can just plug it in up here. Another great feature is the easy lift. And this is really a, a great thing to have when you're running and gunning and you're pulling that motor up and dropping it in and pulling it out. Uh, it takes half the work out of it. It makes it much easier. And if you happen to lose your grip on the rope, as you're putting it in, it's not going to slam down. It just kind of goes down real easy. It's a great feature. Now, I've already assembled the motor as it came from the package. And I've played around to get it exactly where I want it. I want, want it just off the bow as much in the middle as I can. And I want it on the side here so it's not sticking out where it can hit anything. Uh, so what I need to do now is mark where I'm going to drill the holes to bolt it in. So I just go right where the, uh, the holes are drilled in the base. And I mark them right here. And we'll get done with this. We'll get out the, uh, the drill and we'll, we'll make the holes we need to secure this baby. Okay, I've got my holes drilled, but we're not finished yet. This hold down strap came with the motor, and this is very important. It holds the, uh, the front of the motor, it keeps that big motor from bouncing around when you're in rough water. So you just want the end of this latch sticking out. And uh, I want to drill holes right through this or put it right so it doesn't move. So I'm just going to take a nail and uh, just pop it right through where that hole is to get it started. And then I'm going to do the same thing where this other hole is. There. Now, when we bolt the motor down, the strap will be bolted down too so it won't go anywhere. This is where the trolling motor strap should be located after the mount is installed. Actually securing the bolts is kind of a two-person job, so I've uh, acquired the help of my son-in-law, Andrew Upshaw. Andrew's done something I've been dreaming of doing for years. He's already qualified for the Bassmaster Classic. Uh, he's going to be fishing the Northern Opens uh, along with us, so this is going to be a lot of fun. He's going to man the screwdriver, uh, and I'm going to be down here with the nuts and bolts, or the bolts rather, and a crescent wrench underneath. And this hole I made for my inset for my foot control is going to make this a lot easier. I also installed Minn Kota's support arm, which is a must for keeping the motor locked down secure in rough water. The shaft comes longer than you need, so you have to cut it down to fit exactly the distance needed in your boat. My old boat was made before 36 volt electric motors became commonplace. It was equipped with an outlet that could be switched from 12 to 24 volts, depending on the motor being used. To accommodate 12 and 24 volt motors, the boat had two sets of 6 gauge wire attached to the outlet. 6 gauge wire is plenty for 36 volts, but the blue connectors uh, were not up to snuff. They had to be removed. Initially I thought about uh, using this plug-in system, uh, but this, this plug really won't handle uh, the 60 amps that's required. So it was really more of a hassle to change the plug out than I wanted. So what I've done is, is use really a better system. We put a hole uh, in the inset right here and we've run uh, the wires that connect the Minn Kota to the batteries which you hear and they've come out right here. And now I've connected them to the batteries in the back. This goes to one end of the, uh, the series of three 12 volt batteries that make the 36 volts. And uh, here's the other one. And what we're going to do is connect them. You can see uh, I've connected it with a bolt. What I'm going to do is uh, cut this off and and wrap it like this. I covered this with uh, silicone and wrapped it. And we'll just tuck everything in here and we'll cover this up. And every all the wire will be underneath the deck and uh, it'll be very neat. 
uh, nothing to strip on. It'll, it'll be a, a nice job. It'll work just fine. These are the breakers that came with this old boat. Uh, they're two 40 amp breakers. One is for the 12 volt system and one is for 24 volts. Now Minn Kota recommends a 60 amp breaker for their 36 volt four tracks. So if Minn Kota recommends 60 amps, that's what we're gonna do. So I've replaced this with a 60 amp or down here. Uh, and one side of uh, that connects to the, uh, the series, the uh, three batteries that make the 36 volts, and the other end goes up to the uh, Minn Kota trolling motor. So I've got a, a breaker here that can handle that kind of power, that kind of amperage. Switching over from 24 to 36 volts means that I'm gonna have to have three uh, deep cycle 12 volt marine batteries. And the ones I'm putting in are these Trojan SCS 225s. I've been using these batteries for a year, and the big number is it, that it has 225 hours of reserve capacity. Uh, that's about as big as you can get. Uh, these, these things are monsters, and they really do a great job of keeping me out there. They also have enough cranking power to be used as a starter battery, so I'm actually installing four uh, Trojan SCS 225s. Three are going to be for the uh, trolling motor, the 36-volt uh, trolling motor, the Minco down the bow, and the other one will be my starter battery and it will run my electronics. After removing the other set of six gauge wires, I cut pieces from one of them to make the links that would connect three batteries in a series to make 36 volts. This diagram illustrates how to link three 12 volt batteries in a series to get 36 volts of power. I ran all the wires and cables for the electric motor under the front deck and through a hole I made in the inset for the foot control pedal. Two of the wires connect the electric motor to the batteries. The other two cables connect the Minn Kota's built-in transducer to the Humminbird 998 on my bow. Okay, the final phase of installing uh, the electric motor, the Minn Kota 4 tracks, is bolting the foot control pedal into my inset. So you see I've got it bolted in here. And now I can just set it into this hole I've made for it. And all I have to do is uh, Put the screws in to anchor this, and I'm ready to go fishing. <laughs>